sometimes in the big picture of life, when we look at the whole of everything, we see the mass of humanity and all that is taking place, and we maybe look up at the stars at night and feel quite insignificant in all of their everything in the universe and everything that's taking place in all of humanity. But I am so thankful for the Word of God that tells us that God cares about individuals, the extent that He will go to to reach someone. We, all we have to do is consider our own lives and the circumstances that led us to find Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And it's a wonderful thing when we think about that. And, and in the book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 37, is just a great example in this whole account of Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch and to the, the extent that God will go to reach one individual. Our total reading is Exodus 30, 31, and 32, and Acts chapter 8. But listen once again to this verse, to what happens in this uh, discourse between this uh, Ethiopian and Philip. Then Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Now, of course, the context of this whole thing is this. Philip tells, uh, the Lord tells Philip to go down to this particular place and then join himself to this man. And when he gets there, the guy is reading the book of Isaiah and he has these questions about who, who uh, the prophet is speaking about. And from that point, Philip uh, takes him through the scriptures and shows him who Jesus is. And and then uh, the result of that is the man believes and is baptized. And so it's just a, a wonderful account of what takes place. And again, I want to stress the individuality of this, how much uh, it is that, that, or how far God will go to reach someone. And so Romans chapter 10, verse 9, wonderful verse says, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So here's testimony of the truth of that word in, in the book of Romans. It's also, I think, proof of the love of God for individuals, for you and me as people. I mean, who in the world are we? Who am I that, that I have the privilege of knowing the Lord? It's because of his great love. And, and he's a God that is so great that he takes note that he is mindful. I, I love the little uh, the chorus that we sing sometimes. He knows my name. He knows you. He knows where you are. Every thought that you have, there is nothing that is hidden. He understands. Jesus understands exactly where you are and what you're going through because he's been there and he knows what it's all about. So uh, we, we, uh, this it's just a wonderful thing to think about this. And uh, no one, what it says to me, is out, outside the reach of the love of God. No one is too insignificant that God doesn't see and that God doesn't care. You could you could look at this whole incident or even the incidents of your life and of mine and how we came to know the Lord and we could say, well, that was quite a coincidence. But when you know him, when you understand who he is and how great he is and you begin to get a knowledge of who God is, uh, there is no such thing as a coincidence. God is at work in your life and in mine, in the lives of every individual. He knows every person, the thoughts of every. I, I can't conceive of that. I can't put my head around that. It's a great, incredible thought. Seven plus billion people, but God knows each everyone's name, knows everything about them. Mm. What a great heart of love he has for us. It shows us the extent that God will go to in order to reach the life of one person, you and me. It's truly, it's truly amazing love that God has. And then the desire that I have is to be the kind of a person that, like Philip, who whom God can say, go do this, and we go do that. And as a result of that, we see the hand of God moving and working. So let us be sensitive to the Holy Spirit when he speaks to us. And the way that we gain that sensitivity, obviously, is by spending time with the Lord so that we are sensitive to his voice and hear him. Amen. Pray the Lord will bless you today. And again, I say this all the time, but if, if you are watching and you like it, there's a little button down there to click, click the like button. You can share it on your own Facebook page or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you get notifications every time there's a video and it usually takes place every day. Uh, join us for the Friday night study at seven o'clock Mountain Time on Fridays and uh, just appreciate having you share with me in this time. It's wonderful to hear from all of you. So thankful for that. And I do really honestly pray the Lord will richly bless you today. Amen.